blessed children in the world. This is your Father in heaven speaking to you this day. Reaching out my hand of love, placing it in yours. Oh, how I love you, my children. Each and every person on the earth I love unconditionally. For I created you, I knitted you together in your mother's womb. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. I created this world for you, the food that you eat, the air that you breathe, the clouds in the sky, the sun and the moon, the animals, the rivers, the streams, the mountains, the snow. I love you, my children, and this is all for you. This is a playground for the soul. Do you love my creation, my children, as much as I do? Do you love your fellow human being? Do you love your family, your home, your country, this world? Blessed child, I want to open your eyes this day to the wonders of the earth you live on today. Yes, there is a heavenly realm to come and it will amaze and astound you. It will delight your soul. But today I want to bring heaven down. I want to open your eyes to see all that's surrounding you right now. I want to give you a heart of appreciation for the world you are living in, for the life that you have, for this day, this day in creation. For this day might be the only day you have left on the earth and I want you to see it. I want you to be awakened to all that is surrounding you, to feel the temperature, to taste the food, to feel love, emotion, to hug another soul, to care for someone deeply, to look after a little animal, to watch the birds in the sky, to look at the animals that are surrounding you, the tiny animals, the large animals. See them today, my child. Don't kill them. Don't see animals as a hindrance, but see the beauty in their creation. Every animal, from the tiny ant to the biggest whale or elephant, Gaze in wonder, like a little child, at the animals on your planet. My children, tonight I want you to look up to the stars, to the galaxies above you. Your world is turning. It is a beautiful earth. The stars around you, the glory. Look up tonight, my children. Gaze upon your moon, gaze upon the stars, feel the coolness of the night air. See, my child, see with the eyes of a little child as your earth turns. It is so beautiful as you move, spinning around and around. See what's above you, my children, see what's in the sky. The night sky, it is glorious, it is beyond anything that your human minds can comprehend. Universes upon universes, there is no end, you cannot reach the end my children. You are simply on the earth to experience the wonder of creation, to experience being alive. I can bring you fully alive, my children. You need to be alive in mind, in body and spirit. You need to be born again of the spirit, my children, to become one with me. And then your eyes will open. You will be awakened to my beauty. Life is not about working day and night and then dying. This is not life, my children. Life is about experiencing, tasting, seeing, feeling. Be one with me, be one with creation. 
Enjoy every mouthful of food, my children. So many varieties of food I have created for you. Enjoy lying down in bed at night and sleeping and dreaming. Enjoy every thought that you have, every creative thought. Be creative, my children. Paint, sing, dance, draw. Whatever it is within you that you long to do, do it. Write a story, write a book. Swim in the ocean, climb a mountain, dance in the forest. There is so much to do on your earth and so many of you are trapped in tiny boxes looking at computer screens, looking at your phone all day long. What is this, my children? You have limited days on the earth. It's not about money, my children. Experience each moment of every day. For one day your life on the earth will be no more. You will not be on the earth. This is it. This is your experience right now. Be with your family. Talk to your family. Be with your friends. There is so much to do on the earth, my children, and so many of you are wasting all of your life, so much time staring at screens, locked away in little cubicles. For what, my children? For a little bit more money. Find ways to be creative so that the finances will flow in a different way. I will provide all your needs according to my riches in glory. I will give you creative ideas to create finance in your life. Ways that you can still experience the earth. I have put talents and gifts within you. Use them and the money will flow. My children, do not be chained to someone else's vision someone else's financial gain do not be chained do what I have created you to do you know what it is and if you do not come to me in prayer and I will reveal why I created you on the earth why you are living and breathing at this time for every person has a amazing purpose on the earth I want you to dream bigger, my children. Do not settle for mediocrity. Just enough. For I am a God of more than enough. And I will supply all of your needs according to my riches in glory through Christ Jesus your Lord. Trust me, my children. Speak to me. Pray to me. What are your needs? What is your heart's desire? Talk to me. I want to walk with you as a friend whilst you live upon the earth. I want to show you my creation. Every living thing, every plant and flower and fruit and vegetable, I want you to taste it all. I want you to smell the fragrance of every flower. I want you to love greatly. I want you to fall in love. I want you to love your children, your parents, your friends. I want you to know what it's like to help others, to give of your whole self, to help someone in need. I want you to know what it's like to bless others financially, to give away your money, trusting me to provide all your needs. There are so many people in the world who do not know me, who do not even believe that I exist. Yet I am speaking to you now through this maidservant. These are not her words. This is the words of my spirit, my heart for creation, your father's heart for you. My child, if you do not believe, I want you to read my holy Bible. Start there. Read the words of those who have gone before you. Read about their lives, their faith journey. The Bible is full of faith stories. 
from men and women, those who knew me well, those who walked with me through trials and suffering, those who held on, held my hand, and I came through, I delivered them, I set them free, I broke the chains. I sent unto you my Holy Son, your Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. He came to deal with your sin. If you have never dealt with your sin, then I ask that you bow your knee, that you confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and you ask for his forgiveness. And I promise that on this day your sins can be forgiven, you can be set free, you will pass through the wrath of my judgment. You will not be separated from me at life's end and you will walk into heaven, but you must believe that he died for your sin. And you must turn from your sin. You must repent of all sin and ask to be changed, renewed, set free, delivered from the chains which bind you, the addictions, the temptations, the emotional pain, the baggage, the generational curses. My child, break them now through the blood of Jesus Christ, through his death and resurrection, his ascension into heaven. He won the victory for you, my child. He is the way and the truth and the life. Do not listen to the words of man. Man does not know. Man is not the answer. I am the answer, I am wisdom, I am knowledge, I am revelation and I am speaking to you now one on one and I am calling you home this day to come to your Father, to believe in my Holy Son and to be filled with my Holy Spirit. If you are not filled with my Spirit, I ask that you bow your knee and confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And this will open a door for my Holy Spirit to come, for you will be purified and cleansed in my sight. My Spirit cannot dwell where there is sin. When you are seeped in sin and darkness, you must be born again. You must confess and repent. And then my Spirit will come and make its home within you, and you will be changed forever. Your life will be renewed. You will be transformed into the image and likeness of Jesus Christ, your Lord. But the decision is yours this day, to accept or to reject him. My child, if you are hearing this word, then I am calling out to you to make a decision, to come, to bow before him, to worship him and love and adore him. He came to break the chains which bind you, my children. Give your life unto him. Give your world to him. And he will set you free. Blessed children in the world, come fly with me this day. Come see a vision of heaven. Come walk with me in paradise. I wish to show you something new a new revelation never seen on the earth before. Heavenly Father, I see myself and there is a tree before me, a tree with fruit. Taste of the fruit, my child. Father, it is a massive piece of fruit. It is bright red. It is beautiful. My child, in heaven you can eat from any tree. Every tree has beautiful fruit that you can eat from. Taste the fruit. I taste the fruit and it is so beautiful, so juicy, so sweet. I love this fruit. I've never tasted anything like it before. It is so beautiful. Thank you, Lord. And then I look and I see tree after tree after tree with every type of fruit. Fruit I've never even seen before. My child, you can eat from any tree. Enjoy this day. Go, eat the fruits of heaven. I walk along this beautiful riverbank. The water is flowing. It is cool. There are birds singing. I walk from tree to tree in awe, 
gazing upon the fruit, magnificent fruit. Oh Lord, I reach up and I grab something else and I taste. It looks like a banana from our earth. My child, every fruit from the earth will be here. I taste the banana and it is so beautiful. I love the texture, the color, the vibrant yellow. Oh Lord, I look and there are grapes. I see grapes. I see a whole vineyard of grapes. I go over and I taste the grapes. The vibrancy of the green of this fruit is beautiful to my senses. It tastes so sweet. Everything is larger here. The grapes are so much bigger. I look and I see oranges and mandarines. I see lemons, I see limes. Oh Lord, it's so beautiful. I see plums and peaches, nectarines and Djibouti carvers and Davidson plums. I see olive trees. Oh Lord, it is so beautiful here. Oh, I see people in spirit and truth. I see people in heaven reaching up and picking the fruit and eating it. There is more than enough here. Every piece of fruit is perfect. I feel so happy to be here, to be able to eat the fruit freely. My child, there are no restrictions on the fruit you can eat in my heavenly realm. Yes, you can eat in heaven. You can taste, because this is a major part of your earth, eating, enjoying the company of others eating with friends and yes you will eat in heaven you will drink from the fruit of the vine you will drink of refreshing water living water purified water water like nothing you have tasted on the earth i sit on the softest grass under the trees it is so beautiful here I see my Lord and Saviour walking towards me. He is smiling. I look down. I am so happy. But if I look upon him, I might become overwhelmed in love for him. I let a boy, he comes and sits beside me, and I am so happy. I give him, I share with him my fruit, and he eats. Oh Lord Jesus, I love you with all of my heart. It is such a delight to be sitting here with you. Beautiful child, it is such a pleasure of my heart to be able to show you this vision of the fruit, the heavenly fruit. I am so glad for you to taste of this fruit this day to enjoy all our Heavenly Father has created for those who believe, for those who desire to come to heaven, to dwell in this beautiful place. My child, from this day forward, every piece of fruit that you eat will remind you of heaven. Every piece of fruit that you eat will delight your senses you will taste heaven on earth from this day forward. Oh my Lord, thank you. Thank you for awakening me this day to heaven on earth, to see the beauty of creation. Oh, open my eyes further. Awaken me this day. Awaken every person listening to this word, to all that is around them, to every piece of fruit, to every food, let us see the colours, let us taste, let us enjoy the texture of all we are eating on the earth this day. Your marvellous provision, you have not held back in your creation. There is everything we would ever hope for or desire to eat on the earth. Let us be thankful and appreciate your glorious provision in our lives this day. 
Let us give you praise and honor and thanks for every meal, for all you are providing for your children on the earth, more than enough, more than enough, my Lord. Thank you for your abundance. We give you all the praise, all the honor and the glory, my heavenly Father, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, blessed Holy Spirit. Thank you for all you are showing unto your children this day. We love you eternally, now and forever. Amen.